Hey guys and gals, thank you so much for joining Drunk Makeup by Nat D. <laughs> that is me. Um, I'm excited to share with you some of my skincare secrets tonight. Um, this is cocktail number three, so thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe below so you can hear all about my drunk makeup adventures with me, my friends, maybe you if I end up liking you, and let's have some fun. So, what I'm going to show you tonight is my skincare routine. Um, this is for you lazy bitches. This is for people that just kind of want something fast and on the go. Um, I'm just going to give you something quick and easy, and I'm actually going to show you something that's going to help with taking away a little bit of puffiness around the eyes. So, let's begin. First off, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover, and the reason I'm using this tonight um, is because I'm kind of ratchet, and I've had a little bit of my makeup on my face since maybe Friday, but anyway, who's counting? So what I'm going to do is um, take the Makeup Meltdown Spray. I'm going to spray some cotton swabs a little bit, and then just kind of go over the face, make sure that... Any remnants from Friday night or off my face, you know, because some of us girls like to go out, even though I didn't because I've been on my deathbed. Um, and just make sure you kind of don't have anything on your face because you really want your cleanser and your toner to be able to take everything else off because it's all about that. So what I'm actually going to be using today is Polished by Tatcha. And Polished is a classic rice enzyme powder. Okay, so wait, let me pause right there because I wanna talk about something real quick. When you wanna try a product but you don't want to invest the full amount, travel size is the way to go. And Sephora does a really amazing job at this by having the little bins near the register or having it next to the full size product. So I really wanted to try this product. There was a lot of hype around it and I was kind of like, eh, $48 for a rice enzyme powder, not a fan. So I ended up buying the travel size, which was $15, and I thought, you know what, let's just see what this does. So I'm actually gonna show this to you. I have really bad allergies, and I suffer from eczema, so my skin dries out really easily, and I can't afford to exfoliate my face every day. So this is a really good job at being less abrasive and exfoliating your skin. So what you're gonna wanna do, I have a little bowl over here, is um, damp hands, damp face, and you're just gonna kind of dampen your skin like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take about half a teaspoon into your hands. I guess that's it. Um, and you're just gonna kind of make it into a little bit of a foam. Maybe my hands weren't wet enough. Um, I usually do this in the shower, so pardon me. It's kind of a learning curve to do this on the table. So you're just gonna kind of rub it around the face. And you can feel it has a little bit of grittiness to it. It'll help exfoliate the skin, which takes away all the little dead little lizard looking shits off your face. And from there, you're gonna wet your hands a little bit more and go over it. Looking into a little side mirror down here. So you're not going to get that traditional lather, if you will. Um, a lot of products that have the lather that are more generic actually have laundry detergent in them. If no one's ever told you that, you're fucking welcome. Um, so then I'm going to take my damp cloth and I'm just going to go over it. I'm going to kind of wipe my face off with all this little rice enzyme powder. And what's really nice about this product is you do feel like you're getting some exfoliation, but you don't feel that grittiness, which sometimes gets left behind if you have larger pores. Um, yeah, my nose ring's about to fall out. Uh, any of you bitches with nose rings, be careful. I'm trying to do this blindly. <laughs> so anyway, it's just kind of nice because it will kind of gently exfoliate you, but without it looking like a hot mess and your skin turning bright red afterwards. So... Now my skin is kind of primed, it's ready, it feels really nice, it doesn't feel very dry. And I am going to use something now that 
I think everyone is really obsessed with, and if you're not, then I'm sorry, you need to get your life together. It is by Pixie. Um, you can get this shit at Target. It's called Glow Tonic. Um, I just kind of load up con swab, and then I, you know, just kind of go over my skin. I am one person who actually is really sensitive skin, so I was able to use this product with the amount of glycolic acid in it and not have any issues. I don't know if any of you bitches have ever had a peel, but that shit's hardcore and my skin can't handle it. So, just gonna kind of go around everywhere. And as you can see, well, a little bit. But I've done my makeup remover, I've done my cleanser, and now I've done my toner. There's a little bit of residue on here because there's still a little bit of dirt in my pores. But, you know, tis what it is. And I'm just gonna like leave that shit off to the side. So in the meantime, I'm gonna let my skin kind of dry down. And um, I'm gonna kind of do, well, not kind of, I'm gonna do step number three soon. Um, I'm gonna talk about a product that I'm not gonna use tonight because I'm gonna use something else. But if you bitches don't use eye cream, something is wrong with you. Like I've been using eye cream since I was 18 years old. Get your life together, go buy some. I can do an episode on drugstore versus department store, but literally you need to be using eye cream. One of my favorites is Glow by Dr. Brandt. It really just takes the dullness away. Like, girl, bye. Like, nobody wants to see those raccoon eyes like I got going on right now. Um, it does minimize fine lines. It tightens. It firms. It just makes you look really dewy under the eye area. And I've noticed that for myself, when I'm really tired and I lack some hydration, it's really nice the next day because I wake up and the darkness is gone. But tonight I'm going to use a product by Skin Iceland it is called the Hydra Cool Firming Gels so let's be real we're all run down we're all stressed out like shit this stuff helps with puffiness hydration you drink too much the night before you drink too much right now <laughs> cheers it's a great product. It actually comes in a bag of eight for $30. I mean, like, really? Like, that's so fucking cheap. Um, you only need to use it one time a week. I love this stuff. I've actually used it on a flight to Europe and put it under my eyes, and it was super nice to wake up with hydration. So tonight, I'm going to use it, and then we're going to talk a little bit of shit and drink some more, and then we're going to go ahead and finish off the routine. So... Oops. It comes with both of these little guys. You're going to take it. You're going to peel. And you're going to set it like so. God, my skin is a hot mess. Um, I don't know if any of you know, but like literally dust tried to kill me. I have been so fucking sick. I um, just moved to Irvine and I basically unpacked an entire day and by the end of day I ended up in the ER because uh, dust literally tried to kill me. Apparently when my allergist said you're severely allergic to dust, he wasn't bullshitting and I got really sick and had to go to the ER and couldn't breathe. It felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. So anyway, I've been kind of a mess ever since then. Um, so I do need these like a motherfucker right now. So anyway, um, these guys, you just kind of press on, you leave them sit for about 10 minutes and go about your life. So in the meantime, let's talk a little bit. Talk topic number one, where is Rob Kardashian? So as many of you know, he had a little, 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 little bit of drama with Black China, and good old Rob just kind of went off the fucking deep end. Now, in a true Kardashian fashion, I was hoping he would just kind of get his shit together and Mama Chris would be like, motherfucker, hide in a cave for a week, let me do some fucking damage control like I've had to do with your sisters and get your life together. But no, he's been kind of MIA. I mean, he did take it a little far with the whole, like, 
photos and all that, which actually was a really nice treat to wake up to. I don't know, like, I kind of wondering where is he at? Like, did he join the Scientology cult and now he's like shipped off to like the fucking Sea Org? Is he hiding in a cave? Is he in rehab? I don't know, but I'm genuinely concerned. No, I'm not. I just like a little bit of their drama and I actually love Chloe so much, but I just kind of am curious, like what the hell happened to you? Um, one of my theories is, is he's just kind of staying at home, waiting for Mama Chris to come and save his ass, or he's kind of like locked himself in his room with his like basketball shorts and his black t-shirt, like we all know he does. Um, I don't know. So, second topic. Do any of you think Donald Trump fired his makeup artist because a bitch been looking less oompa loompa lately? Um, first of all, how fucking desperate are you to do his fucking makeup? Like Michael Kors makeup artist? Like step on up and try to do his? I don't know. But like, that bitch be looking less orange. It's either because A, he's too stressed out because he's fucking up our country, B, his makeup artist quit, or C, he fired that bitch. But either way, so you know what I realized? I just put these on like super fucking crooked. That's what happens when you try to do your fucking skincare after a couple of cocktails. This might be cocktail number three. Heavy handed pour by my myself. But anywho, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take these guys off. Ooh, look at that brightness. I don't know. Can you guys tell the difference? Oh, I feel firmer already. Okay, so um, I love the Skin Iceland products. They actually make a really cool cooling lotion that helps if you're like really like hot and you need to just kind of cool down, especially in the summer. Don't get it too close to your fucking eye area. I swear to God, it makes your shit feel like it's on fire. Um, but next up... I'm going to use a product by Dr. Hauschka. It is the Rose Day Cream. Okay. This is JLo's favorite product. Um, remember back in the day when everyone was like, oh my God, JLo uses La Mer and she puts it all over her body. She buys the $1,300 tub of cream. That was actually some bullshit. She went on Ellen and fucking debunked that and said, uh, I don't know. People talked about me using this $1,300 body cream all over my fucking body face cream all over my body. <laughs> but no, when um, they asked her what she used was this Dr. Hoshka Rose Day Cream and it's $45. Um, I mean, JLo, I mean, damn, can a bitch look better? I mean, she fucking looks amazing. So um, it's won a lot of awards. It does not smell like the goddamn Rose Garden. I love it. I personally use it day and night. If I use it at um, during the day, I put a sunscreen underneath it. But, well, I kind of fucked up right there. But I use about that much for my full face. Kind of get it warmed up. And just kind of rub it in. This is something that I live by. Like, I have bought multiple of this product. Um, I just love the way it smells. I rub it down my neck and my decollete area. It just feels good. It literally does not smell like that nasty fragrance tea rose that your grandmas used to wear. Do any of you remember that shit or am I the only old one watching this shit? Tea rose. Tea rose. I know some of you out there that used to work with me at Perfumania back in the day will know what the fuck tea rose is. <laughs> so anyway, um, just kind of put that guy on. Like I said, I use it day and night, and a tube, it's a one ounce tube. It usually lasts me about three months. I don't use too, too much. Um, it's a great base for makeup. It leaves your skin looking supple, it leaves it looking radiant, and just leaves it looking really pretty. I need some more of my cocktail. Do you like that I'm drinking out of a fucking chalice? Like, I feel very much like Snoop Dogg right now. I feel like I just need a posse. My posse's coming. I don't know. I feel like I need to win the lotto. Then I'll have a posse. So anywho, um, my last and final step is something that I have to read because the name is so fucking long. It is Imor Pussyvig, a moisture bond skin energy hydrating delivery system. Yeah, that's a lot to say. So 
listen, it's for all skin types. It helps hydration. It revitalizes the skin. But what I love most about this product is it blocks all the shit in the environment from entering your pores, clogging your skin, all the free radicals, kind of does a little shield, if you will. Um, so what I like to do after I do my skincare is just take it. Mist my face. God, it smells like angel's tears. And just kind of get on with my bad self. So that basically takes me to this. That is my nighttime routine minus Malin and Goat's lip moisturizer because nobody wants some fucking ratchet. I can't open it because my hands are full of moisturizer. <laughs> ratchet lips, fucking kissing upon you. Um, please put lip balm on. Like, it really pains me when I see men and women with some nasty chap fucking lips. Like, okay, I get it. Like, you can't go buy a $12 lip balm. I mean, I like getting my shit for free. But you can go buy some Nivea. Like, literally $4. Like, don't be trying to come holler at no girl up in the club with some fucking cracked lips. Don't be trying to go talk to some boy with your fucking cracked lips. Put some lip balm on at night. Like, it's not going to kill you. Really? Like... That can complete your look, complete your routine for you to just fall asleep and maybe a handsome fireman will come rescue at night if you need be. I don't know. So, anywho, make sure that you subscribe to my channel below and I have lots of goodies coming up for you soon. I'll have makeup tutorials. I'll have, you know, makeup demos of product that you might not expect. And um, I'm open to things. So just write me. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for joining in. Um, cheers to you. Cheers to me. And cheers to everybody.